Let's go then. Bright and early at Centaurus High School, band members are getting a refresher on how to march and play together after nearly two years apart. Yeah, <laughs> it's more intense than you think. <laughs> Amelie King is a senior trumpet player and says the past couple of years were tough during quarantine. It didn't really feel like band because we didn't have a show, we didn't learn drill. So it was kind of, it was honestly rough going from then to now. Probably 2019 was when we really had a last band camp that was really banned. Aaron Vogelsberg is the school's band director and says his band hasn't competed since. Last year, because of COVID, he had to teach all of his students virtually. And you can imagine what band would be like, something that's built on community and partnership with other students and not having that, that bond and cohesion that you get from an ensemble setting. That's why this year has a special meaning to these marching band members, putting in their time two weeks before the start of school at band camp. We typically, during band camp, learn about a third of our show, um, both visually and musically. This 4A band has just over 100 members, all learning how to march, dance, and play their instruments during a seven-minute show for their competitive season. We get a paper packet with little dots on the field that kind of resemble arcs or a grid formation and then we find our specific dot on the field. And we have to go set by set, learning those dots, repping those dots over and over again so that they feel comfortable with the step size and the marching technique and the music that goes over those dots. Vogelsberg says for most of his students, we're looking between 60 and 65 students new to the activity. This is their first time on the practice field. And that's one of the worries coming out of the pandemic was having two years of kids that um, haven't had the opportunity to march and play. Both agree they're ready to get everyone back on the field. Honestly, I didn't realize how much I missed it. To put in the hard work now, hoping to bring home a state title in the fall. It's a big community because we're all here for the same thing. For Nine News, I'm Byron Reed.